criminal justice system, street racing offenses are considered especially heinous. In New York City, the dedicated detectives who investigate these felonies are members of an elite squad known as the Street Racing Prevention Unit. These are their stories. Dude, they got the yours back. They got rid of the blue Lamborghini and they traded it for this black one. I, I want to rent that, but I, I don't know. Because I, I just spent all that money on these fucking guns. <laughs> oh, they got, yeah, they got this wrap. They got those highlights wrapped on there because it didn't come with that. This is the Yaris right here. Oh man, I can't. Well, I'm glad to see you finally, guys. You guys got this thing. But the uh, the uh, charge is gone. So my guys got. And that one's 500 a day, right? 499. 499. Okay. They have a Hellcat wide body and center raisin, right? Uh, Hellcat purple, yeah. How much is it? 499. Look at that, my friends at Cloud9 Exotics on Conklin Street in Farmingdale gave me this beautiful poster. These guys are the best. Look them up online, Cloud9 Exotics. That's Cloud9 Exotics. And you can rent any of these fabulous cars because I ain't never buying no damn Lamborghini, but I'll rent one. Why not? That, you see that black Aventador? If I could squeeze my big ass up in there, I'm gonna rent this bastard. Why not? Yeah, because, you know, I, it, it's like driving a car without the maintenance payments. Or this one right here. But I'm, I'm not a fan of the yours. I like the track hog better. It's more powerful. But, yeah, that's where we are. Cloud 9 Exotics. Yeah. yeah. Hold on, hold on. I ain't getting that thing. Look at you. I'm old. No way, bro. Dude, you, you crazy. He's all the way back. Nah, I don't think so. No, I ain't even gonna. I ain't even gonna do that. And mess your car up. I ain't gonna do that. I appreciate that. Mess your car. All right, so I'm going for it. Wait a second. Now we know. Oh, you can do it. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. You, try to fuck you know what it is? It, it's my like, like yeah, my my bait. Nah, nah, I ain't doing that. I ain't doing that. I think I think you might be able to make. I'd snap the side off that goddamn seat. I ain't doing that shit. I snap the side off that seat. Six two. All right, so we're the I'll same size. All right. Six foot six. Mm. Yeah, six man. I ain't getting in there. I, I snap that seat off, man. No, you won't. You won't. Uh, it's carbon. It's carbon fiber. Uh. -huh. uh I think I'd have a better chance than this one. What's all these goddamn bucket seats? You gonna make these things bigger? All right. But I know I know we could get this one, and we could get the uh, Hellcat wide body, definitely. I will definitely do the Hellcat first. I don't know the time. Whenever. I don't, I don't want it to be like slow and shit. No, no, no. What we'll do is we'll wait till it's a nice day. Nice day, yeah. Yeah. So here I am with my friend, and we're uh, taking a look at these. Uh, fine. They got the Ar Arctic Warfare Magnum up there. Like, I really like that one. But my thing is, I don't hunt deer. So uh, he's going to hook me up because I want to get a black 50 caliber Desert Eagle. So my guy's up there looking into it now. So we'll see what he's got for me. Oh. oh 
Okay, ladies and germs, for today's demonstration, we'll be using the uh, Smith & Wesson MP15, and uh, we'll be using only one type of ammo tonight. We have uh, uh, 20 ball XM855. The XM855 has green tips. This is all New York State compliant ammunition, just like this weapon is New York State compliant. And um, next time, perhaps, We'll be using Winchester M193s. And uh, get one of those out there for you. And we will be going to a certified New York State compliant, certified New York State compliant uh, range. And uh, basically, what I will say, uh, this uh, site here is actually a pretty good site. It has an obvious uh, red dot, as you can see. You turn it on right there. You raise or lower the uh, lighting. And it also has a small shroud right there. Now, uh, I do want to do a couple more videos when it does get warmer. Uh, hopefully, I can bring you 50 caliber Desert Eagle New York State compliant. They Basically, what they do is they cut an inch off of it. And then I'd also like to get to a bigger range where I can bring you the Barrett 50 caliber M82A1, which is probably my personal all-time favorite. So one thing I will say about this, this is actually a very good weapon. Um, it has a right-of-way flip-up sight. Personally, in my opinion, these sights right here, the regular sights, even, you know, they call them iron sights, but they're made of plastic. The thing that I like about them is they're actually extraordinarily accurate. You don't actually need the red dot sight. It's just that I like having the red dot sight for looks. And um, it's a very well put together, made in America. Very, very well put together. I think I might eventually get a rifle strap, but we don't have open carry in New York, obviously. So I won't be open carrying it, only taking it to licensed New York State compliant ranges and using it with New York State compliant ammunition. So I would hang it. Uh, well, yeah, I, I think he might be able, I think he might be going to go out there. So, yeah, so we just got to wait for him to finish. All right, whoa. Yeah, you gotta remember this thing gets hot right here. Load your magazine up. Yeah. Uh-oh. Another, uh, what is that, a huh? What is that, a BMW? Man, you shouldn't have to push no BMW. I thought those things were fast or something. I thought they had engines and stuff. So the guy's car broke that. No, wait, is that a BMW or a Honda? Let's go over there and ask. Well, well let's go over there. I want to I try. I'm not going to let him know I'm, I'm looking at him. But let's, look at this guy. Look at this guy. This poor guy's got to push this shit all by himself. It's like, you know, the, the, the New York thing to do would be to help him. So I get him out this guy's way right here. That would be the New York thing to do. He's like, I'm not going to go over there. You're doing great. You see? People, uh oh, this guy's got a, this guy's got a Maximo and a fucking, his uh, bumper got hit. Damn. It's like everybody's having trouble out here tonight. Jesus Christ. Wait, you guys are pushing out in the middle of the street? Is there somebody steering? Yeah. Oh, okay. Wait, but be careful, because these, these dudes are doing like 80 miles an hour. Yeah, I know. Well, you know what? I, I hope you. I hope you. I hope somebody's steering, right? Yeah. So you're going to... Okay. Okay, you're going right here next to the fire hydrant, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I think you're good. I think you're good. Just keep your flood. Just keep the hazards on. 
Yeah, yeah, keep those hazards on so this way nobody will run in you. How, where, how far are you going? I'm good. I'm with my dad right here. Huh? I'm good. I'm with my dad right here. Okay, okay. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. You're welcome. Sure, sure. Jesus Christ. All right. Some night. We're here at Chili's right here. Just had ourselves some nice little uh, drinks and burgers and fries and whatnot. End up pushing people's cars and shit. It's just ridiculous. But that's what it is when you're a New Yorker. This kind of shit don't happen in North Dakota. It's like, uh, it's like one of those biggest loser challenges. You gotta push cars and stuff. <coughs> Got Walmart right here, fine shopping. They sell ammo. She, yeah, she she got the video, so it's on her phone. Oh, cool. All right, I'll see you later. Everybody want a Dodge Charger.